Hi guys and welcome to another 3ds Max quick tip video. Um, this is pretty much a continuation on from my last video on creating custom toolbars um, which have links to launch other applications. So in the last video we created one here that links uh, opens up After Effects. So now I'm going to show you how to actually create an icon for it because this here is really ugly. Um, so first of all we're going to go to Google and basically just find After Effects logo. Um, I'm just going to stick with the stock standard one and I'm just going to copy that, jump into Photoshop and just paste that there. Alright, so the first thing that you need to keep in mind is within 3ds Max um, the icons have to be specific sizes and specific formats. Particularly um, you need to create a small icon which is a 16 pixel by 15 pixel image um, and you have to create a 24 pixel by 24 pixel image to use as the icon so that way if you're using it in um, a smaller area where not not so much on the toolbar but um, where it's going to display the icon in a small size it needs to have a small image to be able to do that um, and also they have to be saved in a bitmap format so .bmp um, so yeah basically the way we'll go about creating this is I'll just go canvas size and change it to 24 by 24 to start off with and basically I'm just gonna transform the logo down. Um, I find it a bit better if you don't actually show the whole logo. Um, mainly just try and keep the text itself as big as you can basically because they are such small images. Uh, I might even stretch it up a little. So just zoom out to get an idea of what it will look like. Yep, that's fine. Alright, so now I'm just going to save this. And I'm just going to whack it on the desktop for now. Um, and I'll show you where we've got to actually move it for 3ds Max to read it after. So there's also a specific naming convention that needs to be done um, for the icon. So we're going to call this one After Effects underscore um six oh sorry we're doing the twenty-four so twenty-four I and save that out as a BMP file. Alright, save that. Now with the icon, um you can have it as whatever bit depth you want. Um just leave it as default for now. Um now another thing that you have to save with the icon itself is an alpha channel. So the alpha channel basically just tells 3ds Max um, what to perceive as transparent and what to see, perceive as fully opaque. Now if you don't save out an alpha channel, what happens is it reads the uppermost right pixel up here in the corner and uses that as the color for the alpha channel. So if you don't save out a proper alpha channel, your logos will end up looking very see-through um, and it just looks like crap. So what we're going to do is just disable that, save out pure white as the alpha channel. So save as, change it to BMP file and all you need to do is on the end just change the I to A and save that. And there we go. Um, now same deal for the smaller icon, just image, canvas size. Now you do have to remember that it is um, 16 pixels wide by 15 pixels high. That's not a typo or anything. Um, for some reason that's just the way 3ds Max read the, reads the icons. Um, to get more detailed information about the icons themselves, um, you have to look under the creating icon bitmap files in the 3ds Max Max script help. So it's not under the normal help, it's under the Max script help. Um, so have a look under there, it breaks it down even into even more detail. Um, but yeah, so just okay, proceed. Transform this image. There we 
There we go, that's fine. File, save as BMP file and change it from 24 to 16. And save out the alpha as well, so file, save as BMP 16. A. All right, there we go. So now we've actually created our icons. So we'll jump over to 3ds Max. Uh, sorry, actually no. We will go to the desktop and grab our icon files, and basically we will just cut them and go to your 3ds Max um, directory. Now it all depends on. If you followed my customizing 3ds Max video, you'll see that I actually change a preference in the install.ini settings, um, which moves your default location of all your storage. Um, but basically, you need to locate your 3ds Max UI folder and put them in there. So I've changed mine to be in the actual 3ds Max install itself. So open up UI and just go under icons and just paste those in there. All right, so now we'll jump over back to 3ds Max, and with our toolbar, just right-click Edit Button Appearance, and you've got this Image button down here. Um, now I'm not too sure if it will have actually loaded up. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't seem to have. All right, so I'll close down and restart 3ds Max. and I'll come back once that's started up. All right, so just restart 3ds Max. Now if I go right click uh, Edit Button Appearance and under Group with Image Button, you'll see that there is now a After Effects category. So if we click on that, there's our icon open. And there we go, now we have our icon. And you can stick your toolbar wherever you want, but basically by clicking that, that's now going to launch um, After Effects for you. So yeah, um, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching.